So this week's game is to raise money for the Tongan Recovery Appeal, mate. What does that mean to you, being of Tongan heritage, mate? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, just shows what the club's about. Uh, shows um, the care for um, the rugby league world has for um, for every nation, not only Tonga. Uh, when something does happen, natural disasters around the world, there may be someone who's representing. Um, and uh, for us Tongans, it's um, uh, it's real helpful for our little nation. And uh, did you grow up in Tonga? No, I didn't. I grew up in New Zealand. <laughs> you spent much time in Tonga in, in your life? I've been to Tonga a few times. I've actually been there uh, maybe a, f a few times and experienced that uh, my parents were born and raised there. I got heaps of first cousins and aunties and uncles that live there. So um, yeah, lots of family back there. And, and it's a beautiful place, mate. Tell us what this tsunami done to the um, to the islands. Yeah, it's it's a it's a beautiful place, like you said. Um, maybe a third world country in, along the world, but um, you know the the people there uh, is rich in the spirit, rich in um, um, unity. Uh, so uh, to see that how the um, the volcano and the the tsunami. Um, and they crush up a few spirits, um, homes, taken uh, food and everything. Um, you know, it's not only your family, it's um, your family's friends, your friends and all. And uh, to see that happen to our little nation, um, especially what we know what they're going through, is um, real heartbreaking for us. So this week will be definitely a special occasion for yourself, mate? Yeah, every week is for me. Um, uh, for, for Tonga, for, for us, um, you know, Behind our back pockets, uh, we, we play for representing our little nation, uh, multicultural round also, we're representing others, the diversity in the rugby league world, um, and we're also representing them too. And you must be happy with your form, mate, um, you end up finishing the game at hooker, mate, that must have been a bit of a surprise, mate, back into the yeah, game. Yeah, it was definitely a surprise, um, uh, I haven't really trained at nine that much, but um, for myself, I just got to know my role and know my, my job, what to do, whether I go on at nine or, or in the middle. Um, that's that's uh, my, my, my job, so I've just got to go out there and um, go with some impact. And what's been JD's message since the uh, the loss last week, mate? Um, you know, just have, take a bit of confidence of of, um, of what we're trying to build here. Um, be confident in what we're doing, um, and you know, let's attack and you know, back ourselves in everything we do. Yeah. And we mentioned Cookie there. It's his 150th game this week against the, the arch rivals, the Roosters, mate. How much of a help has he been since you've been here? Yeah, he's been real, real help, um, both on and off the field. He's um, a real leader himself. Uh, obviously, 150 for him this week, and uh, we can't see, can't wait to take the field alongside him and um, have his back and everything. Yeah. And you haven't experienced the South Sydney Roosters rivalry yet, mate. And um, also, you're playing your first home game in front of the fans. We, we haven't had a home game for a long, long time, long the Rabbitohs. So you must be looking forward to that. Yeah, our first home game. It's going to be. I've always experienced the um, away games here, and but, um, always experienced the um, South Sydney um, you know, crowd. It's a, it's a big traditional club, and um, I can't just can't wait to get out there and uh, represent the club and. I uh, especially um, do, do a job for, for Cookie and make it a memorable milestone for him. I think you've become a crowd favourite in the short time you've been here. Saliva, congratulations on your form, mate, and good luck this week, bud. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks, boys. Thanks, Thank you.